Hello, today I show you how to use Epic Photoshop action and here is some of results what you can make with this action. Ok, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 3000 pixels. So, if you need to increase your resolution of photo, just open your photo, then go to image, image size, and change width or height value to 3000 pixels or more. Ok. And before you use action, you need to do these steps. First, make sure you are using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change the language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest version, click on menu icon at the right, Select Panel Options and check the Add Copy to copy it layers and groups. Ok, that's all. Now, how to use Action? Open your photo and very important moment, your photo need to have the background view. So, if your photo have this view, this view. You just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, New and select Background from layer. Now it's OK. Then open Brushes file. For that go to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager. In Preset type select Brushes. Click Load. Then go to your Download folder and just make double click on Epic Brushes file. OK, done. Next, open the action file. For that, go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, then go to your download folder again and just make double click on epic Photoshop action. OK. Next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Now you need to paint the area what you need to focus. You can use brush tool with any color or you can use one of lesser tool or magic vent tool. Ok, let's start to create the area.
Okay, next you need to create little more space for the effect. For that you can use crawl tool. Just click on crawl tool icon and scale the frame. It's very important moment before you use action in every photo you need to create little more space for the effect for correctly action work okay next go to the window actions find action in the action list open it and click play but before you click play Make sure that the opacity of brush tool is 100%. Okay, it's 100%. Now click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm little scrolled this step. Okay, when action finishes work, you can change the final composition and I'll show you how to make this. In final composition we have 11 folders, its background elements, back smoke, light smoke, your object, front smoke, shadow from object, upper smoke, background colors, object light color, particles and bokeh. Okay, let's start from background colors. In this folder you can add gradient or color to your background. If you need to change the background color, just make double click on layer icon and change the color. Okay, if you need to move your gradient, just make double click on the icon and move. You can rotate the gradient. Okay, background gradient color, it's color around your object and object gradient color, it's color inside your object. So let's change the object gradient color. Make double click, select gradient and change the color inside your object. Okay, it's gradient colors and what about background and object color? Background color layer, it's color around your object and object color, it's color inside your object. Let's change it. If you need, you can change the opacity of layer. Or if you need to erase some space of this color, 
just select layer mask, select brush tool. I recommend using a soft brush. Then select black color and just paint on your object. Black color for erase your effect and white color for make visible. Ok, the next folder object light color. In this folder we have two layers. Let's change these colors. Select blue. Ok. Let's change the color of particles. And let's change the bokeh color. Okay, the upper smoke folder. It's a smoke folder if you need to erase some space of this smoke. Just select brush tool, black color and paint on the layer mask. Black color for erase this effect and white color make visible. Ok, and in your object folder, if you open this folder, you can change the brightness and contrast of your photo. Brightness and contrast. So that's all, now you need just save, thanks for watching and good luck!